Okay, hi. Uh, so this is a for sale video for our 2016 wild boar Razorback. Um, it's a four berth camper, so you've got a queen size bed at one end that my six foot five husband and my rather heavy self sleep in comfortably. Um, and even if we have an extra child jump in with us, that still works. The dinette then converts down to um, a bed that would sleep probably up to two, two adolescents or small teenagers. Uh, so this is the kitchen. It's a pull-out kitchen. Um, has got stabiliser leg there. Those legs are individually adjustable if you have uneven ground. It has a flip back bench that is a very handy we also fit a three shelf oz trail zip up pantry underneath this beautifully it works beautifully uh, we've got three drawers in the front and this one here is all your crockery i took out the cutlery insert that came with it to customize it a bit more all of these trays i'm happy to leave with it um, everything just fits in there perfectly also have this one so i keep my dishcloths uh cutting board and tea towels in here and the dish liquid um and my apron uh, this one is an access hatch for storing away the gas cable um and whatnot we've also kept um like mozzie coils and stuff in there i'll just show you the sink i upgraded the sink so this completely screws off from here you can see there i'll tighten that up that completely screws off um, and then I've just done an adapter there down to a bucket um, that works fantastically I also have another hose that then joins onto this and it is about makes up 10 meters so you can then have that going off site or into a bucket uh, here you've got a light uh, that light is controlled over here so we have a double adapter the light can be switched on and off from here there is also a switch down the back here that is technically the on off um, but we just leave it on there and you will use this you then got another 12 volt socket there when the batteries and everything are turned on you actually get the voltage um, of the batteries left here on that and then there's two usbs there's two usbs in the top of that um, You've also got the water connection down there, connects in there, gas connects in here, and there is a bung that goes on that when you're travelling. This is for the water fill up. It has a 70 litre stainless steel water tank, so you can see that water tank in there, stainless steel. Um, you've got independent off road suspension. Um, I've towed this camper through some pretty pretty decent terrain um have obviously been gentle with it because i love my camper haven't thrashed it i wouldn't dream of that because i love it but the point is if your full drive can go there this camper can go there um you've got the step up uh you've got the body so you've got brushed stainless steel arches and then the front drawers so this compartment here we keep our table clothes rack um, those foam puzzle squares to use in the shower uh, long skinny stuff like that we keep in here in here you've got a pull out slide this is the pantry so we've got crockery box dish rack and pot on top I've then got three mango crates which work perfectly um, I actually find that this is overkill like we don't fill this um, so that's great you've then got up there so there is also obviously a lot of this stuff will be going for keeping for us there is also wind guards for the stove in there and actually sorry I didn't lift up the stove so back to the kitchen so got a three burner smev so three burner smev these all come off for easy cleaning um admittedly the clicker doesn't work anymore but it probably just needs something replaced um i just use a, i just use like a, a barbecue a barbecue lighter um there's a cutting board this goes down 
um, cutting board here. This was custom made for this space, so it's it's got your your um, precise edges on the bottom, rounded edges on the top. It's been waxed, fits perfectly over there for extra bench space. You've then got the sink and the tap, so cold water only, but you can um, you can rig up hot water there's plenty of hacks in the owners group on how they rig up hot water um, this light's actually brilliantly bright um, and you can twist it around and do all sorts of marvelous stuff with it put this back okay head back over here so we've got the fridge slide so this is a really decent size this fridge we've got in here we've got a 80 liter 80 or 85 liter brass monkey in here dual zone um bag of peanuts to hold it open um oh hello hubby didn't clean the fridge out um but decent like it's a big fridge and it fits in there beautifully this slide slides well a little bit of room but size fridge sides fridge size guys you've got to make sure you can still you can still open it so we just open this fridge um, you've got an Anderson here um, and this is to turn on the fan in the front for ventilation um, we just use some velcro on the side to hold that up and we find that all stays out of the way um, if your fridge doesn't have an Anderson connection, you can either get a double adapter, which we've got, or your auto sparky should easily be able to put an Anderson on your cord and then still have the 12 volt. So I have added extra points to this. So it comes standard with these at the front, but we did have a smaller fridge in here initially, which I had sideways. So I put in, I um, securely pop riveted in extra tie points. On the sides for that and just push that down slide it in and then it all closes up uh, okay so we've got the front of the camper here um, an awning velcro is on around there that little hangy bit over there is for the bit that goes out so the awning extends out and covers all of this as well it comes to about here um, I've got all the guy ropes are all there for it. So I've got doubles for the corners and they're all marked out where they go. You've got the front here, so you've got a stone flector. Um, all the out the side and outside awnings have all got these storm awnings on them, which I find brilliant. Um, to stop them from pooling water, all I do is just shorten this off and do that shorten that off and then if it's raining you may not need to do it quite that much the water will just run off that way you still get some airflow um so there's a toolbox in the front there that toolbox has got the um a bag in it with um tent pegs and the guy ropes i also keep the hitch in there usually um got the jockey wheel here um our car's lifted and quite high so we have it up a bit higher so that we can get under the tow so this is this camper will come with a Cruise Master DO35 coupling. This is the bee's knees of off-road couplings. Um, it, this coupling we got when we bought the camper, so it's uh, 18, not even 18 months old. Um, so this is on here. Um, this is then what you plug into your car if this fits your car i'm happy for you to have this this is a ford a ford one goes into this this has got a red cap that goes on it so basically you just back your car up back your car up wind your jockey wheel down drop drop it down so it's um through the pin and then locked and she's locked in there that um, is 306 you can lit I've seen videos literally you can flip your trailer and it will not flip your car or you can flip your car and it won't flip the trailer so it is fully mobile in every single direction um, we've then got seven pin flat um, Anderson handbrake obviously winch the winch does um, allows it to open and also closes it You've got two gas bottles. I don't know if you can see them through there. Two gas bottles, two jerry cans. We've just got one in the in the um, shed at the moment. 
Okay, so around the back, you've got uh, more awnings. You've got a boat rack with a basket on top. On the basket, we've got um, a bar, uh, bag. Um, I usually keep solar panels in there. Solar panels, chairs, axe. Uh, the barbecue fits in there as well, the gas mate barbecue. Um, so it's very handy. This here houses all the poles for all the awnings. So all the awning poles go in this one just for um, keeping them separate. Um, I put this on, it, that stainless steel cables on there, that doesn't move. So in here, we've got, so that's the other access. So that compartment there, you can, that's all the way through. So this one here, um, the bottom one I keep um, the ensuite lights, um, chocks, that sort of thing up there. It's just spare bits and pieces, kids, kids rockets, <laughs> stuff like that. All the doors also have um, a little sensor here. So the little sensor and then an LED light is up here and that comes on. So anytime at night... Um, when you open these doors, a light will come on. And I actually find that very handy. So in here, you've got two slides. Again, there's a, um, a fan in there, an extraction fan. So I keep like tools in here, toilet stuff, first aid kit, fire extinguisher, um, tool kit. This is the strip light that goes inside over the bed. Um, spare detergent clothes basket, spare shopping bag, fairy lights, that sort of thing I keep in here. Okay, so over here is a hatch that you can actually access the inside as well. So this is where the, um, the charger and everything goes. At the moment, I've got the Anderson lead in there, um, and I've got a drill and a few other bits and pieces. Um, but that is where the charger is mounted. You can also access this compartment from inside, which I'll show you. So it's also handy for putting like your clothes or I put my daughter's sleeping bags in there, that sort of thing. Okay, next we've got the um, power box. I call this the power box. So all the electrics are. Um, so you've got your circuit breaker. You've got two more 12 volts. Um, you turn the batteries on and off, shows you the volts, water tank. Um, I don't know, I'm, I don't know what that does. <laughs> um, and these are the on off switches for the, like the fridge compartment, all the cigarette light sockets throughout the camper, water pumps, there's a 12 volt water pump, interior lights, rear spotlight. So that rear spotlight, um, is brilliant for reversing the trailer back in the shed at night so and it's a pretty decent spotlight too um around the back of the camper does come with two two spare wheels the other one's in the shed um this pole holder here is all the awning poles so all the awning poles in there come around to this side so this camper i have modified the awning poles to have raw corn on them so if you haven't seen Rawcon before, um, look them up on the website. The link is in the ad for this camper. They are freaking brilliant. So I've got a um, full set of Rawcons on here to make it very easy. Um, the camper also comes with uh, three of them have got these extra long hooks so they do not come out. Um, and then the one for this corner has got a carabiner on it. Um, because I just found that I just found it easier to have a carabiner on that one. Um, so around here the access. Uh, there's a tap on the rear here. You've got recovery points into the chassis on both sides of the camper. It's more of the ex suspension under there. Um, the water tank. So it's all in, it's all in good nick. The chassis is fully gal dipped. Um, there's no cracks in it. It's been very well looked after. The people before me um, did stuff all with it. it. Literally sat in their driveway. They did, they did hardly anything with it. Um, these campers are, yes, they are originally like the chassis is originally put together and stuff in China, but they're done to Paul Burton's specific. 
um, specifications. They then come back to Australia. Um, Paul and his team do all the wiring, all the plumbing. Um, everything is to a high standard. I'm fussy as anything and I've been thrilled with this camper. We're only selling it because we want to upgrade to a caravan um, just to make things easier with our with our two um, special needs or high needs daughters. Um, they're a bit high maintenance and yeah a forward fold i just want to be able to get done quick so not selling this camper because it's crap not selling it because it's difficult not selling it because there's anything wrong with it selling it purely because um i need to be able to set up as fast as possible on my own with two kids i can't take my eyes off uh okay so we'll go inside so everything's got these push latches they're all adjustable if need be with a uh, from memory it's a 10 mil um, everything's got fully sealed around um, and it all sits up in here so this is the part where it folds over it's got this flap over here I've honestly I've never had issues with bugs coming in um, you've got a stereo CD stereo that goes there I've got it put away underneath You've then got um, interior switches for your accessories that are in here. So the, there's four um, USBs and, and um, 12 volts. So we've got accessories, the light, and inner light. So the inner light's just there. Speakers, two speakers. Hello. Yeah, that fluffy up. So it's set up as the dinette at the moment. So this would com you'd comfortably fit, gosh, I can comfortably fit, like six people in here to sit to eat i've got the table pushed right over at the moment that table then folds the legs fold up it then turns around sideways there's another board that i've got behind those seats at the moment and that then goes down those cushions then sit on here and you've got another double bed i've slept on here both ways with my two daughters and have had enough room so it says it's a double bed i would kind of say it's a short queen with like by the width it's actually quite wide um back here is a full width hatch uh, i put the internal spreader bars so the spreader bars and there's also bars that go um hold up the bed end um but if if you want to use them i keep those in there all the windows have got exterior awnings but they've all got interior zip ups so if it starts blowing a gale, you can just, you don't have to go outside. You can just quickly zip up the insides. Um, you've got these, well, the bars that hold it up. You've got Velcros around the place for wiring if you wish. You can also hook up more lights at each end. They're in each corner. I've, the ones from the middle I've put away. The bed one there. So you've got a screen to separate the bed end as well as a canvas uh, shutter cover um, and it just goes down and it zips around so you can have it most of the way down all the way down um, this is a queen size bed um, by measurements it's actually slightly wider than a queen as i said my six foot five husband and my um, heavy self fit in here fine um, Again, you've got nice, you've got beautiful ventilation through here, especially when that's up. Um, the mattress is a memory foam mattress from Ikea, a Malfours. And then there's a topper on top of it. It's also a mattress protector. Um, so we find that very warm, very comfortable. Um, I'm a bit fussy with mattresses. Um, I've been thrilled with this. Um, we've got the mat here. This was also from Ikea. Um, just works beautifully as a muck mat. Um, so you've got the screen on the door here. Um, I'm, I have had people check and test. Unless you're at the precisely right angle and you're standing fairly close, you can't actually see inside. Um, the great thing with these that I find is that the stairs do not form part of the door. So a lot of campers, the stairs are... Um, like you bring the stairs up and that then closes the door with this one you can have your stairs down and still have your door closed the great thing with the wild boars as well is if you just want easy access during the door during the day sorry this door actually lifts off 
so I can take I'm lifting that up you can take that door off and just move it aside I find that it quite easy when you're setting up and you're going in and out lots um, all of these cushions all lift up to access underneath them so in here um, you've got the stereo, you've got some electrics, you've got all your pipes so you can monitor all your pipes and your cables and all that sort of thing. That's the water pump there. Um, that's the wheel arch. I put um, like drop down storage things in there to hang the clothes in. And over this side, you have got. Ooh, this is where the batteries go. I've got to put one of the batteries back in. Um, so there's lithium in here. So lithium are much lighter um, and last longer and you get more usable power. There is also a TV socket. So the lithium's going to go back in. And then this is that hatch that I said you can access from the outside. So that's that hatch there. And that's where the battery charger goes. You've got little storage pockets, both sides. Um, what else can I say? Oh, that's it. Uh, as far as the awnings go, there is a 2.7 metre awning. They all zip and Velcro on. So it's 2.7 metres. There's also a 2 metre travel awning. There's then all walls. So it's a fully enclosed annex, including floor and skirt. You can put them on individually. We often just have the kitchen, the back of the kitchen wall on. Um, so you can have them all on individually as well. Um, I don't think there's anything else. So yeah, that is that. Um, so if you have any questions, just send me a PM um, or give me a call and I can talk you through anything else. Camper is located in Toowoomba. We'll be set up at Tweed Heads Big Four over the Easter break. So if you'd like to come and inspect it, then you're more than welcome. Thank you. Bye.